Oh, no. <laughs> Sympathy be... is welcome. Oh. Yes, I originally did intend to tell you the story of St. Valentine and how that mm. holiday came into the tradition before it was the commercialisation it was today. But I thought this morning was such an adventure, I'll do that instead. <laughs> now, first of all, I'll tell you about my life at the minute. I've recently moved out of London, down south of Chichester. I've got a brand new life, a new job, new accommodation, new friends. It's fantastic. I'm working on Leisure Park. Last night, I did my first workshop with children. That finished at 11. It was my first time. I was scared. We played games for three hours. Stuck in the mud, corners, party dances, you name it. I had to do it. <laughs> for three hours. <laughs> I got home at one o'clock at night. I was starving, so I ate. I got to bed at two. Woke up this morning at six. I got on the bus. I had to limp into Selsey to catch a bus to Chichester. I fell asleep on the bus. <laughs> we got to the station. The bus driver poked me, woke me up. Do you want to be off here? Yep, thank you very much. <coughs> Went to the station. Now, I had researched my travel plans very thoroughly. <laughs> I went to the ticket teller, I said, all right, excuse me, I need to get to Birmingham New Street Station. I'm going to go to Victoria, take the tube to Houston, and then change over, get from Houston straight to Birmingham. Is that cool? And this ticket teller, everyone knows someone like this. He was more than 40 years old, possibly more than 50. <laughs> Here's your ticket. I was in such a rush, I didn't want to look at it. I said, thank you very much. I paid my 60 quid for a return. <laughs> Go on the train. Got to London, Victoria. Now, my friend, he's with me today. I was meeting him. I met him there. It was fine. Was hungry. I had eaten. It was fine. Grabbed a bar of chocolate. Sugar rush. We're hey. <laughs> got on the tube all the way up to Houston. Got there. We got about... 10.40, there was a train leaving at 10.45, straight to here. Fantastic, perfect timing. So, I hobbled along, running to get to platform four, I gave him my ticket. So you're going to, to Birmingham, right? I said, yes. Well, for this ticket, you have to get a changeover at High Wycombe, <laughs> which means you have to take the train from Marleybone Station. <laughs> my friend had already got a ticket, for that specific journey, so we had to part ways. So I got back on the tube, down back to Victoria, up the Bakerloo line to Marleybone Station. Had to stand around for 15 minutes waiting for the train. And I got on, and the train went to High Wycombe. I fell asleep again. <laughs> Someone poked me, do you want to get off here? I was like, oh yeah, thank you very much. I got off the train, I went to see the ticket seller again. I said, right, when is the next train to Birmingham. Look, well, the one you got off goes straight up to Birmingham Small Way, and that goes to Birmingham Moor Street, which is two minutes walk away from the station. I turn around, and the train is slow. Oh. <laughs> I hold on back to the station, and I have to wait another 20 minutes for the next train. The train comes, I get on, and there's about 18 to 25 odd stops along the way. <laughs> so, as part of my job, I do party dances now. And over last weekend, we had to learn 22 party dances in one day. Thankfully, I've got them all on my mobile phone, I put my iPod in, I was listening to it, and I was sat there going... <laughs> I turn around, this little girl is looking at me. So I get bored of sitting down, stop, after stop, after stop, after stop. I fall asleep again. Finally pull in to the station. Someone pokes me, wakes me up. Do you want to get off here? Yes. So I get off the station. I know my friend. He's been waiting for an hour. It took him one hour to get there. It took me two and a half. So I like, right, I'm hopping along. I'm, I'm, up, I'm up New Street. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I'm outside a subway. That narrows it down. So I have to hold along. What subway? I'm not at subway anymore. I'm underneath a glass bubble. <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> and so I'm hopping along, trying, because I know I'm late. It's about 20 to 2 now. I know I'm going to be late, because I have to go to New Street Station to find him. I'm hopping along. 
I passed this Jamaican kettle drum playing band, and then four people and everything. I'm hopping along the street, and they're looking at me as if I'm weird. <laughs> <laughs> and so I get to the station, asking where he is. Where are you? I'm outside a HMV. So I was like, look, just go to New Street Station, go into the station, and I'll meet you there. So I find him, it's great. It's about 10 to 2. So I have to hobble again, passing loads more different cultural music bands. There's loads of them at the moment. Have you seen them? Yeah. They're all along. They're fantastic. I am exhausted. I got four hours sleep last night. There are people handing out tickets, buy CDs. I am not bothered. <laughs> so I'm hobbling on. I finally get in. I get to the desk. And I'm exhausted. I'm going, I'm here. I'm here. They say, do you want a glass of water? No. Where's the bar? <laughs> Where is the bar? And so, thankfully, the people here, they have been very accommodating, they have been very nice. They have said, take 10 to 20 minutes to chill and relax and get yourself sorted in your head. I apologise again that I did not originally tell my story about St. Valentine, because it's very romantic and sweet and tragic and you all would have gone, oh. 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 And obviously I sprained my ankle two weeks ago. That was oh. Oh. <laughs> You're a wonderful audience, I'm here now. That is my story of this morning and the afternoon. Thank you very much.